Hey guys, Nightshade here, and I decided to try to change what I'm going to do with my games. Originally, my idea was I would play through each one and catch all the Pokemon. But lately, I've been thinking, what if I play through one like that, where I have to do all the SOS encounters, like waiting for Bagon to call Salmon, things like that. But also, I do the other version of the game as more of a just quick playthrough where I'm not going to try to really catch them. If I find a Pokemon I don't have, I'll catch it. But I'm just going to be going through faster through it. Which means that instead of spending hours inside one route just looking for one Pokemon, I'll just go ahead and just continue on. And then I want to see the difference inside the times. Because they're going to both finish finish at the Elite Four at the, the little bit before each other. So I want to see the difference in the times and see how many Pokemon... If I actually take the time to find it, how many, if I don't take the time, I just catch it. If I, if I don't have it, I'll catch it. If I do, I just annoy it and kill it and move on. Instead of spending the time to search for it, to see what the difference is and see if it actually does affect your team building inside the game. Because something I've noticed is my team building kind of depends on how many Pokemon I catch sometimes. And that can depend on each game. So I decided I'll go ahead and change that and see if maybe my team building will change completely if I don't have the same number of Pokemon. Because if you have more options in one game, your team's probably going to be more balanced than inside the other. And I want to see the difference and see how where the challenges are going to come and things like that. So I decided to change it, but not really a lot. It's a lot. I just think it would be funner for me personally. But see you guys. Thanks for listening.